dating a Filipina for most of us is unlike any other woman you've dated before or unlike any relationship that you've been in before. When a relationship commences as one where we're separated by vast distance, it's only natural that the fears we may have in a standard relationship will be increased and enhanced in our thoughts. But are our fears valid? Or are we worrying ourselves over nothing at all? In this video, I'll look at things a foreigner fears when dating a Filipina and if these fears are justified. So be sure to stay with me here. Straight up, what one needs to understand when someone enters into a relationship that's far different from anything else we've experienced before that's always bound to bring up many thoughts and concerns in our minds. And one must know that this is very normal, especially if we're in a long distance relationship and dating a woman from another country, where sometimes cultural differences can also raise unnecessary doubts or concerns. We really don't know at this time what's normal within such a relationship. And many of us will fly by the seat of our pants, so to speak, and fumble our way through in hope we get enough of it right to keep the relationship going. Now, it's important for Filipinas who are in a relationship with a foreigner or a Filipina looking to enter into such a relationship to understand what fears the foreign guy may have at the start of a new relationship as well as for the foreign guy to understand these fears are rather common, but they can be easily overcome. In a recent video, which I'll post a link in the description for you guys to have a look at, I looked at things of Filipino fears when dating a foreigner. And so here, we turn the tables so hopefully both the foreigner and Filipina will have a better idea of the sort of things each other may be dealing with as they both try and navigate the tricky and uncertain waters around a new relationship with someone from another country. The most obvious fear that many will have with such relationships at the very start is one around if the Filipina is truly looking for love with him or just for a new and possibly better life. This is especially so if the foreign guy himself is looking for a woman to have a loving relationship with, as he doesn't want to get three to four months into the relationship where many hours have been spent getting to know one another, only to find out that she was never really looking for love with him. This can certainly hurt the ego and play with one's emotions if he felt he had a connection with her. And yes, girls, guys too have emotions, even though they may not often show them to you. And when a Filipina or any woman plays these games with a man's emotions, it can have devastating effects on him. Another fear many foreign guys may have is around if the Filipina that he has been chatting with is only looking at some point to get money from him, whether it be a one-off larger payment lower monthly payments for the long term, or perhaps in the form of a block of land, a house, or even both. The two things that I've just mentioned, I believe are feared the most by many foreign guys who take the leap of faith into dating a Filipina. And most certainly, it is a leap of faith to a certain degree and something that has no guarantee of success as with any relationship. I've done many videos on ways guys can prepare themselves to know about both these things so their chances of this happening to them is less likely. Just check out my Love Scams Philippines playlist on my channel homepage for much valuable information. And one must know that there are other fears that many foreign guys have certainly told me about over the years that don't always get a mention from many videos that certainly I or other YouTubers have covered. Some guys have mentioned about a Filipina's past life prior to you, and while some don't care what she's actually done before in her past relationships, or ways to make money to survive, they may have concerns around other issues that the foreign man may need to be sure of 
before having a committed relationship with her. Now, of course, I'm talking about if she may have any diseases which are prevalent in the Philippines, such as hepatitis A, B and C, or tuberculosis, or any sexually transmitted diseases, just to name a few. Anything that affects her health and that could possibly be transmitted to you is certainly a real fear and something one may feel the need to know before getting into a full-on serious relationship. This can certainly be a sensitive and touchy subject that one needs to approach in such a sensitive way with his Filipina. Now, you don't want to make it sound like you're accusing her of anything or being rude. So the best way to handle this is when you're with her in the Philippines, speak to her about the importance of both knowing each other's medical history so then you can both go together and have the tests done. This way, you're sharing the responsibility together and it won't seem to her like you're putting it all onto her. Assure her that this is how we look after each other in a very responsible and caring way. Another very common fear that foreign guys may have is around whether or not she may be married and separated. One must know right here that even if a Filipina has been married and separated for 20 years, she's still classed as married in the Philippines. And as such, a foreign man and the married Filipina need to be aware and careful around adultery laws for her and concubine laws for you in the Philippines, which can carry rather hefty prison sentences, not to mention opening up more opportunities for a foreign guy to be scammed around this. The way to check this, of course, is not to take her word for it, because sadly, some Filipinas will hide the fact that they did marry at some point and never got an annulment. And maybe she's too shy or too worried to tell you this important piece of information for fear that you may walk away from her. So be sure to always have a certificate of no marriage completed, or more commonly known as a senama, which will give you your Filipinas official marital status within the Philippines. Now the next thing that many foreigners fear when dating a Filipina is around marrying her and being comfortable around bringing her to his country. There can be a variety of reasons for this which include but are not limited to things like if she'll be able to adapt to the new lifestyle and foods in that country, if taking her away from her family, friends and country will be too much for her to manage. Or if the Filipina once in her new country will leave the man and find a younger, more compatible man in that country. Now I've done videos around what I think about guys who refuse to take the Filipina to his country because he's scared she may run off with another man. And the reality here is that many of those guys have much, very much younger Filipinas and so this shows their own insecurities and certainly huge fears. These guys may not under normal circumstances choose to go and live in the Philippines, but decide to do so solely around this one fear that drives them to hide away his Filipina from the world. Personally speaking, I couldn't be in a relationship, not even with Miss Universe, if I felt the need to do that. As I say, these are a few things a foreigner may fear when dating a Filipina, but there are certainly ways you can get much more peace of mind and more certainty around if your Filipina is being genuine with you or if she's playing you. And that is by utilising the experience and professional service from my friends at Love Guardians who are experts in cyber security and now have employed the services of an experienced licensed detective in the Philippines to run many checks on your Filipina for, as I say, those that want more peace of mind when oceans away. So you can access Love Guardians to find out more by checking out my affiliate link in the pinned comment and description. And you can also check out this video in the card above which shows them in action doing some of their cyber checks online.
Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.